the House of Representatives has rejected the honor of uh, Commander of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, CFR, to be conferred on the Speaker Abbas Tajuddin. President Bola Tinubu, during the independence anniversary on Tuesday, named some of the beneficiaries of the next national honors. A motion of urgent uh, national importance sponsored by 249 members of the House says the office of the Speaker is not subservient to that of the President of the Senate. They added that the Chief Justice of Nigeria, as the number five citizen, cannot be ranked higher than the Speaker as the fourth in national hierarchy. Now, the members appealed to the executive to confer on the Speaker, the Grand Commander of the Order of the Niger Award, like the President of the Senate. We have details in this report. Of the House of Representatives, have honor of commander of the order of the Federal Republic. Just about 24 hours after President Bola Tinumbu in his independence anniversary speech listed some of the beneficiaries of the next national honors, members of the House of Representatives have raised objections while expressing our gratitude to Mr. President for recognizing and honoring the leadership of the National Assembly. We note that the conferment of the title of Grand Commander of the Order of the Niger on the President of the Senate and the conferment of the Commander of the Federal Republic, CFR on the Speaker of the House of Representatives, and the President of the Senate perpetuates the inappropriate subordination of the Speaker to the president of the senate lawmakers query why the chief justice of nigeria as the fifth in hierarchy ends a gcon award and the speaker as the fourth citizen takes a cfr the speaker is the fourth in protocol cgn comes after today the cgn is given the award the honor of gcon i think there is some some mismatch for the public to know that this house is not subservient or inferior to the Senate. From our lawmaking process, there is no single chamber that can make a law. Part of the corrections that you've asked for, the constitutional correction about the order of protocol, it has to be number three citizens, the Senate President and the Speaker. This injustice has gone on for too far, for too long. It is not something that has happened only on this administration but it's an institutional error. A HADA committee chaired by House Leader Julius Ihavery is to liaise with the National Honors Award Panel of the Executive and report progress in three days. The motion signed by 249 members resolved that the House of Representatives is an independent and equal chamber of the National Assembly and that the Speaker is a co-head of the legislative arm of government alongside the President of the Senate. Joke Adisa. TVC News, Abuja. Well, Nigerian National Honours are a set of orders and decorations conferred upon Nigerians and friends of Nigeria every year, especially persons who have um, rendered services to the benefits of the nation. And this was instituted by the National Honours Act No. 5 of 1964. And uh, often a time, what we see, I think even that of uh, the previous administration, the honors conferred on the speaker was uh, that of uh, GCON, as we see with uh, the president of the Senate now. And so, as some might say, there is an argument here uh, with regards to what is coming out of uh, the, uh, the House of Representatives saying that uh, the Speaker is not, or that office is not subservient to that of the Speaker or any other person. That's right. Um, this actually calls for a broader debate, you know, uh, between the bicameral, bicameral legislature that we have, that we practice in the country. Because oftentimes we always see the Senate as superior to the House of Representatives, and then uh, the House of Representatives deferring to the Senate. But... The way we look at it, I think it's a plausible argument, mm -hmm. and it actually calls for you know further debate. Because if you look at the House of Representatives, it contains 360 members who are all representing each you know constituencies, federal constituencies, 
uh, constituency you know, with, uh, uh, within the country. But then if you look at that of the Senate, it's just 109 members. So what do they do? House of Representatives, you know, they represent the people at the federal level, making laws for peace, order, and good governance of the Federation, approving presidential appointments and treaties. But what the Senate does is you know, provide advice and consent on presidential appointments and treaties, trying impeachment cases, reviewing and approving legislation. Uh, legislation. So uh, matters regarding whether they should be at the same level or one should be subservient to the other, uh, it's quite plausible because um, one, check, one stands as a check and balance you know, to the other. If well, it's just for the proper representation of the country, mm -hmm. where we have Senate having three people representing uh, each, from each state, mm. then we have we have um, um, it balancing the 360 representatives that we have in the House of uh, Representatives. So um, it, it's 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 a good conversation that they are that they are bringing up. So I do not think, you know, personally, this is my personal opinion. I do not think that the House of Representatives should be in any way, you know, uh, made to be seen as um, an inferior, so to speak, to to the Senate because mm. they actually play legislative rules. So that's what this is. That's it, what it, the argument is That's about. what the argument is yeah. about, that um, it seems uh, the the executive is seeing them as, you know, inferior. Yeah, because if to, you see the president, say the president is the number one citizen, yeah. the and vice that's, president number the two, speaker is and the, the fourth. senate number three, and the speaker is, number, uh, is the fourth. So the fourth. like, come on. Um, but, but how do they now arrange that? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, whichever way they see it, if this argument would hold water, such that um, those who are saddled with the responsibility of conferring these honors mm. um, see reasons with their arguments will be another thing. So how are they positioning themselves in such a way that um, uh, the state council uh, will understand that um, you have an argument here That's and right. perhaps we made an error? Mm. Or what is even the reason why they decided, you know what, the speaker should be conferred yeah. you know, with this title or this honor mm. but uh, as we get along i believe that before the day itself uh we might get a position right. on this matter <laughs> uh, this is before the day yeah. i guess they, they're also saying that they have to go through the constitution because it's a constitutional error uh, so to speak or institutional error maybe whichever one that's what applies. i'm saying so nothing nothing is cast in stone mm -hmm. so some adjustments might be made yeah um whatever it is at the end of the day that's what i'm saying that before the confirmment is mm -hmm. done, because we mm -hmm. do not have oh, a okay. date. You're talking about the confirment. Before the but confirment not, not the is done. supremacy this time. No, no, no. Because some <laughs> Nigerians will tell you there's no case here. Some will tell you yeah. there's no case here. It's a matter of having a conversation That's to say, right. oh, you did this. You should take a second look. Absolutely. And the uh -huh. bottom line is better and equal representation of the Nigerian people, not a battle of supremacy. It's not a battle <laughs> of supremacy at all. It's not. Not at all. Anyway, let's quickly bring you the news up.